Hi, uh, Reed Hartley, uh, Biomechanics Healthcare. Um, just doing a few video vlogs on a series of uh, Achilles rehabilitation and strengthening. Um, so, um, a big part of my background and study, uh, obviously, of, uh, is uh, strength and conditioning and osteopathy, but uh, a massive influence was from the Gray Institute, um, the AMN Neurology, Z Health. Um, this particular one from the Gray Institute is, is, a, is, a, is a great exercise to strengthen and, and, and isolate the Achilles before you then go into integrating um, the Achilles in your, in your movement and running and, and, and whatever exercise you do. Very simple, you're just setting off face forwards, take a tiny step back and as you take that step back you're landing on your toes and then you draw the heel down and just sink the back leg. Okay, so. Um, you're just going to go there and back, your toes land first, then your heel hits the ground. So your toes hit first and you go to the ground. Just keep repeating that and then just start to drop a little bit deeper on each step. And you'll feel that Achilles switch on as it starts to decelerate you and lower your heel down. Okay, a way to go maybe if it's starting to become a little bit easier is just change the angle of that foot so you start to hit different fibres so you toe out a little bit. That might be a good place to start if it's uh, if because it, it's a slightly easier range of motion. Toes pointing dead ahead, and then the tough one towing in and taking a step down. Um, it just throws your foot into various different planes, um, which is you know it's just a, a, a different task for your for your body to try and come accustomed to. Which is what happens when you're running anyway. You're on different undulating surfaces. Um, again, go for big numbers with these strengthening exercises. Um, aim for like 30 repetitions and then change legs and do the same on the other side. Um, that may help the Achilles, it might, it, it might be the, the exercise that resolves your issue. If it doesn't, then it's likely there's a biomechanical issue um, in the foot or ankle or hip or lower back. So uh, in that case, go and see your healthcare practitioner or you come and see us here. Alright, thanks for listening.